Okay. And I'm going to share screen. And I'm going to make it big. And you'll remember this is where we left off with a, a graduate of UC Berkeley uh, hanging. Um, and you remember, it, uh, the, the coup was led by an Islamist general, Zia. So the uh, generals are, are, are getting uh, more radical. They've, they've lost uh, um, half of Pakistan to Bangladesh. And they're not in any mood to mess around anymore. They had a, um, a, a flirtation with an existential uh, crisis. They might have lost their whole country. So they're kind of radical. On the um, western side of the uh, Duran line, uh, we left off with a graduate of the University of uh, Wisconsin. Um, uh, taking over. He's the, the, the Secretary General of the Communist Party, um, and uh, he is uh, a rascal in spite of his uh, American training. He is a tyrant. He's very cruel to the um, uh, former uh, dynasty that, that, that had ruled uh, uh, um, Afghanistan for 150 years. Um, and he's ruthless against other leftists, uh, as we have witnessed in European history. The left is uh, uh, often most brutal to uh, each other, and it usually is the socialists versus uh, uh, the, the uh, communists. Um, and it just gives a rise to the long, a larger question of uh, utopians. Uh, people that are trying to change the, the world, they have different visions. And so the left is always at a disadvantage when it comes to unity. The conservatives, they know what they stand for. They st stand for the status quo. But it, it's the, the, the unity among the left who want to make changes that's always uh, the problem. So the Russians step in and have this guy assassinated because they th he's giving communism a bad name. Uh, and uh, and uh, ah, here's Tina. Um, and what he had done, uh, his fatal mistake was to assassinate one of his uh, rivals uh, uh, named Taraki. So uh, uh, Brezhnev pulled the trigger um, and uh, had uh, made a, a mean pay for it, had him assassinated, and that started off the 10-year Soviet-Afghan war, which we're going to focus on today. Um, the Soviets installed uh, Karmal, who uh, was Kashmiri, um, but he had been Tajikistan-sized, uh, so he was not Pashtun in any way, shape, or form. He had fled a mean to Czechoslovakia, as you may remember, and he comes back. So I just want to put what's going on and where we are in 1979 back into the uh, Russian Soviet context. What's been going on there? Uh, why is are they so interested in Afghanistan? Uh, the Soviet Union's all the way up. Uh, uh, Russia's all the way up here. They've added uh, and they've conquered uh, the, the Turkish um, and Mongolian Altaic uh, people and incorporated them uh, into the, the Soviet Union. Um, uh, oh, good. Irene and maybe Robert are joining us. Um, so... Uh, the, and, and Afghanistan's way down here, huh? Why, why would people in Moscow be interested in adding this, this little uh, country? Well, maybe they're interested in getting a port to the sea. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe this is a, another start of the great game. Ju I'm just speculating. Um, so 
at, at that point, we remember in, in uh, 1880 and 1907, that was the uh, bookends for the great game. Uh, and, it, and it ended um, when uh, both Britain and Russia were distracted. But, it, you know, it's uh, uh, not long uh, until uh, 66 years until uh, the Russians come again. In historic time, uh, 66 years isn't that long, especially for people our age. But the <laughs> Russian Empire had uh, scratched onto uh, the British uh, Empire. Uh, uh, the, the Pamir Valley, the, this little appendage that sticks off uh, from Afghanistan now and touches China, that was uh, at one point part of the Russian Empire. But in 1907, uh, the Brits and, and the Russians said, hey, um, let, let's, let's end the uh, great game. Uh, we've both got uh, problems at home. Russia's about to be defeated by, uh, or has been defeated by uh, uh, Japan um, and has uh, just gone through their revolution of 1906. Uh, so so they, they, they've got uh, some... Uh, housekeeping uh, to do. And the Brits are focused ever more on um, uh, Germany um, and what Germany's uh, doing. So they draw these, these lines of uh, uh, spheres of uh, influence. And it'll mean uh, a little bit more to the Brits, but the, uh, the Russians keep an eye on uh, this uh, oil-rich part of, of uh, Iran. Um, and you know, around Baku, the oil just seeps out of the ground uh, in uh, the capital of Azerbaijan. Um, and so, um, I, I, rewinding even further, let, let, let's look at the, the, uh, the uh, uh, history of the steppes. Um, uh, this is, uh, these grasslands, uh, here are some mountainous uh, areas. Um, the steppes have always harbored hardy nomads and horsemen, and they, they occasionally have dipped down into China uh, and certainly uh, into uh, Mesopotamia even, um, India. Uh, whenever it looked like uh, uh, human beings were... Uh, 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 riding the horse of, of the civilization that was uh, producing lovely things, uh, they, would, they would go on raids. And it was a continual um, uh, uh, movement from uh, the, these uh, uh, steppe people down uh, to the first civilizations and even uh, uh, into to Europe, uh, the Yamnaya, um, the first uh, major inhabitants of, of the steppes um, to come, uh, come across. A later wave, or earlier waves had been there, the megalithic people. Uh, and the uh, Yamanaya, you'll recall, um, are, you look at the genetic uh, background, uh, they uh, uh, have a heavy presence in the uh, British Isles, interestingly enough. This was uh, one of their early uh, civilizations. Uh, we don't have time to go into it, but the, the, um, uh, this is a, from a book that Ramsey and I read in the 60s uh, by William McNeil that uh, uh, piqued our, our interest. He, he um, uh, came up with something he called uh, the step gradient, where you had this constant uh, pressure uh, going into the um, uh, civilized river um, uh, cultures uh, and uh, uh, raiding. And, and, and it was almost like a conveyor belt of progress and, re and constant uh, renewal. Um, uh, and then um, we can give names to some of these uh, waves. Um, uh, number six is the uh, the latest uh, uh, wave, and that was uh, of Aryan people uh, who bought um, uh, Indo-European language to 
um, uh, northern India in, in particular, not necessarily Dravidian southern England, but um, and what they also bought were the Vedas, their, their uh, religious uh, texts, which evolved into to Hinduism with its uh, caste uh, system, which uh, India labors uh, under uh, today. You'll notice that an earlier wave uh, went to Greece. So the Greek people are Indo-European, but the, the, they uh, uh, were re uh, receptors of a, a previous wave of um, a step uh, uh, people, uh, as as were the Slavs and uh, other uh, uh, the Scandinavians, and much earlier. Um, so uh, that was, and and Indo-Europeans are often called uh, Aryan. Uh, that's gotten a bad name since a. a um, uh, a, a ruthless dictator uh, put that into a, a racial theory. Um, and the, the, um, uh, 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 the different branches of uh, Indo-European, I I, I'm becoming uh, ever more interested in language as a conveyor of history being more important than, uh, than uh, genetic. And you, you can see the different branches of Indo-European. I know I'm repeating some of this. I know you've seen it before, but I think it, it, when you're looking at a new contexts, it's uh, valuable to go back and review the basic stuff. It's like uh, coaching basketball. If you don't, uh, 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 in practice, do some basic drills, uh, you're not going to be as good um, at, at, at uh, responding in a, in a new situation. So, um, uh, and in the Indo-Iranian uh, um, language is what we're focusing on now. And we will see in comparison to Al the Altaic languages that Afghanistan is an Indo, uh, Pashtun is an Indo-European um, language. Um, you have a swath uh, that's mixed where the Altaic people come in, and especially Turkey is, is, is Altaic. The Turks uh, extended their power um, through the Ottomans all, all the way here, and they had a chance, to, and they were in control in different parts of uh, Europe, um, and Hungarian uh, and Finnish may be related to, to Altaic. So they may have come across the top. They may have, uh, uh, Hungarian may be a, a remnant of uh, Altaic language. So these, the pu la linguistic puzzles that we've lived with, uh, looking in the context of um, the, the patterns of language, uh, those puzzles are, are solved. And here's the Altaic uh, 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 mosaic, uh, in, including uh, Japan, um, uh, Korea, um, uh, and the, then there were all these uh, uh, Khanate um, uh, people up here that the Russians had to tame. And there we, we saw how uh, the, the Russians uh, uh, left in the late 1500s um, to try to uh, capitalize on, on the, all the furs that were uh, the pelts of, of animals living in a very cold environment, which made the fur extremely valuable. So for them, it was worth more than gold to head across uh, through Siberia collecting pelts. And we know um, uh, that they made it all the way to the Pacific Ocean in 60 years. Um, uh, a little bit quicker than, than uh, the uh, Europeans made it across the American uh, continent. But along the way, they had to defeat uh, Islamic Khanates. Now, how Islamic were they? Maybe in name only, they were pretty far removed um, from uh, Mecca. Uh, but uh, as opposed to American Indians, uh, who weren't united by a common religion, they did put up more resistance because they, they did share a common a religion, these different 
um, uh, conates. Um, so, um, and the, the ANU, uh, which is always a mystery, why do you have um, uh, white, more white-skinned, uh, hairy people living in the north of uh, Japan that speak an Altaic language, and uh, there's certainly um, a thread along here. And obviously, there, uh, uh, there's a thread across the land bridge here. Um, first, uh, uh, thousands of years ago, maybe 13 to 25,000 years ago, you had Homo sapiens going across to become Native Americans. Um, but um, uh, uh, on our uh, four-day vacation, um, we stopped at Fort Ross, uh, uh, which was Fort Roos. And we remember from uh, studying uh, uh, Kiev uh, that the Vikings had come down through the river system here to the Black Sea on their way to, to try to attack Constantinople. And when that failed, they went back and created basically the Russian civilization, um, uh, the, fir the first step. Moscow was nothing, nothing at all um, in the 800s uh, with the establishment of the uh, uh, Kievan uh, kingdom. Um, so that's a hot issue now uh, as uh, we, we see uh, Putin uh, claiming uh, the, uh, the Ukraine as uh, the birthright, the mother country, and, and he's not wrong, um, uh, but, but he's certainly wrong to take it by force. Um, uh, and so all this, the, this history uh, is, is always uh, connected to the present, right? Uh, the, uh, as Faulkner said, um, the, the past is, uh, uh, isn't over. The past is never finished, and and th that's but a current uh, example. So Altaic language, and uh, what the Russians are going to do is uh, they're going to, uh, 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 in, in addition to conquering the Khanates on their way to the Pacific Ocean, collecting furs. Um, uh, they're going to uh, subdue the Altaic speaking people on their uh, southern borders. Um, and then uh, uh, the, the, in their pursuit of uh, fur, uh, they, they found that Alaska and, and the sea mammals uh, along the coast of Alaska were also uh, very valuable uh, uh, pelts, especially uh, otters. Uh, and so uh, that's what uh, initially uh, took them down to um, the San Francisco uh, Bay and the Presidio. To, they were running out of food. Uh, they were far away from the green belts of um, the Ukraine and the, uh, the Volga River uh, green belts. Um, uh, and uh, uh, they they uh, were running out of food in Sitka, which is in uh, mid Alaska, and they went. They sent an uh, emissary down to um, uh, the Presidio uh, to try to bargain uh, uh, pelts for food, a uh, trade. Uh, and you, we, when we were doing Russia, we did that whole uh, romantic story, um, which I won't go into now. Uh, uh, of a love affair be between the daughter of the uh, Presidio Comandante and uh, Count uh, uh, Rosanov, which became uh, one of the, the, the most famous rock musicals uh, uh, in Russia. And this was during uh, Gorbachev era, the time of Glasnost, the time of change in, in Russia. So uh, they, they made a rock opera a very popular rock opera, as a, a passionate as Russians are. Um, and we had a chance to uh, revisit that story um, uh, yesterday when we were in uh, Fort Ross with um, our son and his, uh, our daughter-in-law. Um, uh, so um, uh, very interesting, the, the, the language patterns. And so uh, the, the Russians. Johnny. Uh, yes. Can you go back to, please? 
it's really interesting to see that Hungary is Altaic because um, this woman that I work with, she was Filipino and she worked in Hungary. And she said to me, which I, I still remember to this day, there are many words that are very similar between our languages. Huh. Well, let's see, is the Philippines appear on this uh, Altaic uh, map by God? Uh, huh. Well, here's the Philippines. Uh, the, uh, the Altaic uh, come down towards Taiwan. Why couldn't they have spread? Very interesting observation. Thank you, Aiko. Um, so going on the steps uh, uh, by one around 1,000 here, you have the, the Rus states what be uh, evolved out of the, the Kiev uh, and the kingdom, but you have all these other khanates, and we talked about khanates in Siberia, um, uh, but uh, uh, you have all these, these other uh, khanates. Moscow's not even on the map, not even on the map. So the Rus uh, the, are the, the Vikings that came down through the waterways uh, here. Um, so uh, the Holy Grail has always been uh, the, the riches of the uh, early river societies. Uh, Egyptians got attacked, Me uh, Mesopotamians got attacked. Uh, uh, God knows the, the Yellow River uh, culture that yielded uh, Chinese dynasties, they were constantly attacked, thus the Great Wall, uh, from the steppe people. And this, the same is true for India on the Indus uh, River. And, and when we talked about um, the, the, the Sikhs and, and uh, uh, their influence in the Punjab, all that became uh, uh, much clearer. And so you had the, the Indus River Valley and then also the Ganges uh, River Valley. And uh, uh, in the Ganges River Valley, um, we, we, we see the first uh, and saw the first appearance of uh, Pashtuns, right? The Lodi, a uh, tribe from Afghanistan came down and established the fifth dynasty of uh, 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 the Delhi uh, Sultanates. And we also saw uh, uh, later, uh, at, uh, after Babur died, um, uh, Shir Shah, a Pashtun, uh, taking control of Patna. Um, so the river valleys have always been uh, uh, attractive and they the, all that water where does it come from uh the mother himalayas i i like this this map that shows the the rivers um uh, and how they they run um so uh we remember that babar was uh one of the first uh uh turks uh uh, uh, his mother was actually mongolian his father was uh, uh tajik um, and uh, uh, coming down from Tamor the Great, um, that in his, his first uh, 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 warlordship outside of his own uh, uh, valley uh, was hmm, Kabul. Um, and uh, so you can count this as uh, an invasion uh, from the steppes. We're at 1500 now. So just a, a, a sum of the historical background of, of the earlier people coming from the north down into the uh, river valley, uh, the, the Aryans. Um, we had the Arabs not coming from the north. Uh, the, the Bedouins uh, came from the south. They're the one exception of a, a warrior uh, nomadic uh, society that didn't come from the north, um, uh, but they came in the name of religion, of course, uh, 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 Islam. Um, I've not just talked about those two. Um, also from the south were the Marathas uh, who were threatening. Um, uh, there were the Hindu uh, re uh, revival that was uh, coming from the south and had eyes on um, uh, places like uh, the Khyber Pass. Um, and, and the uh, Pashtuns uh, uh, were summoned by the um, 
the uh, uh, Mongol dynasty, please come down and help us. We're about ready to be swamped by, by, by the Hindus. Um, we also had the, uh, the Punjabi Sikhs. Um, they had been a, a power in Patna, joining uh, some of the other earlier uh, powers. Uh, of course, we've talked repeatedly about the Brits and the Russians and the great game. So there's always been a, a lot of uh, uh, geographical, political, uh, uh, social conflict uh, around these river valleys and, and key uh, passes. Um, and I've already talked about these. Um, and you'll remember that the, the Durrani, which was the first... Uh, a big dynasty, a smaller dynasty brief was the Hotek dynasty that went east, uh, I'm sorry, west into uh, Persia. The one example of the Pashtuns seeking treasures uh, to the west, which uh, was a dry well because the Persian plateau was pretty dry. So that didn't happen again. But the Durrani's uh, established uh, uh, themselves in Kandahar eventually uh, moved to Kabul when one of the Pashtun leaders decided to al ally himself with the Tajiks against one of his Pashtun cousins. Um, and, and, and so there's a lot going on in the way of uh, uh, raiding uh, uh, and people seeking um, the treasures of, of more developed civilizations. Now, the Russian Empire um, uh, really got motivated to take over the Turkic uh, areas when the, the, the Turks, using their, their warrior and military advantage, would do raids up north and take uh, uh, white Russians uh, and make them white slaves. And uh, uh, Ramsey taught me that, that uh, uh, one of the uh, white, uh, the centers for white slave trade was Venice, <laughs> of all places. So uh, the, these uh, uh, Russians were, were captured and, and uh, carried to uh, Venice in the early years, not the, uh, 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 the late years, uh, and, and traded. And this was an affront that, that the Russians were in no position uh, to um, uh, fight against. Um, so, uh, uh, but things changed. Uh, and when did Russia gain their confidence? It's worth uh, reviewing. I know you, you, you've, you've heard this fairly recently, um, uh, but what happened in 1812? They, uh, what happened in 1814? Um, and then, uh, based on what happened in those two years, 25 uh, uh, years later, uh, th they say, we're, we're going to uh, take care of the, the, the Kievan um, uh, uh, slave traders once and for all. And, and they started their, their final conquest um, of the steppes, turning off the, 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 the spigot of uh, uh, millennia of, of rating. Uh, question? Um, uh, and by the 1950s and 60s, uh, they had succeeded. So here's what happened in 1812. Napoleon came and they, uh, the, the Russians, rather than uh, giving him a, a sucker for the winter, they burned Moscow to the ground. So <laughs> that, was a bold act uh, in the middle of winter, and they hightailed it with everything they could move up to the Ural Mountains and waited for Napoleon uh, to starve. Um, and starve they did. This is a famous map of, here are the, uh, the, the width of the map is the number of, of troops. And you see on their way to Moscow, even before Moscow, the troops are dwindling from disease. Uh, they're out running uh, supply lines, uh, desertions. They get to Moscow and Moscow burns and they, in the middle of winter, they try to make it home and, and not many do. Worth a review because this, this Tsar becomes a, a hero. 
Um, and he is successful uh, in uh, joining a coalition of, of, of the, the great dynasties of, of Europe under uh, Metternich um, and uh, defeating Napoleon um, by uh, uh, a, a bold military uh, uh, move. Um, instead of going into uh, the south of France, which Napoleon was expecting, he, he took uh, Paris uh, instead, and Napoleon couldn't get back uh, in time. So he worked closely with the Germans and the Austrians um, and, and conquered uh, Paris in 1814. Now, Napoleon's going to have his big loss the next year, uh, but here, here is uh, 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 the Russian Tsar in Paris um, in 1814. Um, Elba uh, is where Napoleon's banished to, but he comes back. Um, he, I, you got to say he's uh, a great man in history. Whether great men are more important than a, 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 a events and, and uh, a technology and uh, a geogra uh, geographical realities, I don't know. But you read the story of Napoleon and you read the story of bin Laden. Holy cow. Um, both megalomaniacs. Um, uh, I think I've mentioned uh, uh, in the looming tower. It just comes through bright and clear that Bin Laden was absolutely uh, uh, committed to his own uh, brand of, of uh, uh, self-aggrandizement, and it's going to affect very much the history of Afghanistan. Um, so uh, Waterloo and Napoleon decides to uh, stage the battle there to avoid the Russians, uh, according to some Russian speculation, of course. That may be self-aggrandizement as, as well. And he meets his defeat there to Wellington. So 25 years after that, the Russian Empire um, uh, goes after the white uh, uh, slavers um, the, 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 the trade had been started by the, the Mongols, um, but these are the Turkic uh, um, uh, khanates at the time uh, that the Russians <coughs> had to deal with. And the, uh, uh, the great game begins because they can see beyond uh, the uh, uh, khanates to the south and they can see that, oh, wait a minute, Afghanistan, you're not that, that far uh, from uh, the Arabian Gulf, huh? So uh, they're, they're playing and they're also got an eye on um, uh, the river valleys, right? The, the Indus and the Ganges, uh, a, lot, a lot of wealth there. Uh, we've seen uh, earlier, they'd already been dabbling in, in Kashmir. We ran into uh, a, uh, a conspiracy uh, there between um, uh, uh, the uh, a Hindu Maharaja, uh, and they plotted the murder of the, the British ambassador in, in Kashmir. Uh, so the, the Russians had already uh, been there mucking around. Um, and uh, again, one, one more time, uh, because uh, uh, bin Laden was killed in uh, uh, Abbottabad, uh, we remember that the, the Brits uh, uh, figured out, and it's part of the great game, what the uh, Russians were up to and uh, sent a, a counter um, agent to, to um, uh, oppose, oppose the Russian uh, drift south. So the, they were inspired uh, uh, to free uh, Russian uh, white slaves. Uh, they were organized. Uh, they had Western um, uh, uh, military uh, prowess um, and uh, were able to uh, prevail um, uh, um, and, and subdue the stands. Um, and this is Sa Samarkand, uh, uh, the fall of the, the Tajiks. Uh, Ramsey gave me this list. Uh, um, that uh, they really took off after the Crimean War. 
um, and uh, th these are the dates where of their their biggest victories. You see, uh, Kiva, the uh, ultimate goal was uh, fairly uh, late, um, and uh, they finally got the Turkomans um, and. Uh, Ramsey said, points out he hopes to visit the site of this battle at Geok Tepe uh, next summer. So I lifted this out of a, a letter from Ramsey, thought it was so interesting. Um, and so we, we've seen this map before as, as we looked at how Russia uh, expanded and how quickly they, they expanded. Um, uh, from Moscow across the Siberia. They did that in, in 60 years. And then these are the dates of, of all the territories that they uh, subdued. Now, are they part of a functional um, uh, a larger empire? Not exactly, uh, but, but they're no longer uh, uh, raiding the, the Russian uh, southern border. Now, uh, Ultimately, after uh, the, the Soviets uh, reorganize Russia, all these become their own Soviets. So these will be part of uh, uh, Russia. Uh, and then uh, the, the step was closing uh, on the 1,000 uh, year uh, celebration of the founding of Kiev. So, um, you know, Putin is not wrong. Uh, they uh, uh, have uh, celebrated um, uh, their origin in, in Kiev and they celebrated it in 1862 at the, the height of their confidence. Um, uh, uh, with, and the, as the step was closing and they were and turning off the, the uh, nomadic um, uh, warrior uh, spigot. Um, all right, um, so uh, back to, to that uh, map, uh, uh, and uh, uh, we're back to uh, 1907. Uh, we've already uh, talked about this, just to uh, fix it uh, in, your, in your mind, uh, where the uh, uh, lines of uh, the sphere of influence were drawn. Um, then the, the, the Russians' uh, uh, revolution reshuffles uh, the deck. Um, and uh, the, at that point, the Russian revolution, you'd think, by God, this is the time for those uh, Khanates to, to reassert themselves. And they tried, uh, uh, but they, they lost and gradually the Soviets uh, created uh, 15 separate uh, uh, re uh, republics, very complicated. Um, but uh, 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 Stalin uh, uh, prefer, uh, preferred to try to organize them into the uh, distinct Soviets um, uh, that intermixed a lot of people geographically. Um, and uh, 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 Ramsey wonders if that was, a, was such a good I idea. Um, the uh, Fergana Valley, which was, uh, remember, the home of uh, Babur, um, it, it's at this point uh, still in Uzbekistan, but it, it's uh, surrounded by uh, two other countries, which is uh, uh, his the the Russian the, if the British were bad at drawing boundaries so so were the Russians, um, uh, and the, uh, the there are parts of uh, Ramsey points out that there are uh, hill villages uh, that are in one country but you can't get to them unless you drive through another country. Uh, so one typical uh, example is uh, the, uh, the last bastion of uh, uh, rebels who tried during the Russian Revolution to uh, reassert their Altaic independence are, are the Turkomans. Um, they're given the name Basmachi, which uh, uh, translate roughly into bandits. But, but here are, uh, is a negotiation um, uh, between the Soviets um, and uh, the uh, um, 
uh, 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 basmachi, um, and these turned uh, successfully. I mean, at least they were functioning parts of the Russian state, probably uh, not always uh, very harmonious, um, but uh, you'll remember that the, the Russian armies uh, were made up of uh, 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 Altaic warriors. I, I'll never forget the picture of um, in, at the end of World War II, when Eisenhower's uh, army um, hesitates uh, to let the Soviets take Berlin, but then they, they meet um, at a river uh, by agreement. Um, Eisenhower realizing the Russians have uh, paid the biggest price in terms of uh, casualties, um, uh, much, much, much higher than uh, the American cost. And he hesitates, and there's famous pictures of U.S. troops and Soviet troops meeting, and a lot of the Soviet soldiers are distinctly uh, Asian, distinctly Asian. Uh, but they know the Russian dances, they play the, 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 the uh, Russian balalaika, they, they dance, and they celebrate the uh, end of uh, World War II. So the Soviet Union really was a diverse country. Um, it was. Um, and uh, we keep mentioning the Fergana Valley. Um, uh, it, it is uh, part of uh, Uzbekistan, uh, where Babur was, was from. He gets his base there. and. Uh, sets up his, his first uh, successful outpost in Kabul and, and starts the um, uh, Mughal dynasty. So these were all the, the, the Soviets. Uh, uh, Ramsey gave me uh, this map um, uh, of all the Soviet, the Turk, uh, the Altaic states. Um, that uh, uh, are off the southern border of uh, Russia. Um, and uh, so there's a belt uh, of uh, uh, countries now that are Turkic. And it's a, 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 with a, with a rec recent rearrangement of things in uh, Armenia, um, uh, the, the one impediment in, in uh, uh, Nagorno-Karabakh uh, to a solid link all the way across, a Turkic link all the way across to um, the Uyghurs <laughs> uh, was removed. Um, so uh, uh, Erdogan has uh, a claim to uh, uh, finally uh, uh, re reuniting a, a Turkic um, belt. Um, so the, you have this arrangement um, uh, uh, where the uh, Russian spheres of influences uh, in Iran, uh, and here you see uh, the Shah um, as, a, as a young man uh, uh, meeting uh, Stalin and, and Molotov. Uh, but you also see the, the Shah uh, meeting um, uh, Roosevelt. And uh, uh, a lot of uh, this um, negotiation during the uh, Cold War, well, this is uh, 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 before World War II, I think. Uh, well, it's hard to know. I, uh, but, but there's a lot of negotiation going on over uh, the oil. Um, and uh, the, the Russians control uh, these uh, uh, Soviet states, uh, but they're they're certainly interested in uh, Iranian oil as well, as are the British. So the great game um, uh, starts up again, um, and you have a socialist named Mosaddegh um, who greets the the Soviet uh, ambassador. Uh, with whom he is much more ideologically uh, 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 in harmony than he is with, with the Brits. But the Brits uh, have uh, their eye from their um, 
uh, really occupation of the Middle uh, East and uh, uh, Baghdad. They have their eye on uh, across the border, those uh, oil wells in, in southern uh, Tehran. So they're not going to accept a, a socialist as head of Iran. Uh, and they, they, they call in and, and partner with the CIA. And um, uh, Theodore Roosevelt's uh, grandson is the American operative um, in uh, Tehran. Uh, and uh, he, he is enjoying the good life. He plays a lot of tennis, but in comes the call. Uh, hey, uh, we've got to choreograph a, a, a revolution and get rid of this socialist Mosaddegh. And he does, um, and the Shah takes uh, power. And the Russians uh, uh, will work with the Shah too. They are upset, obviously, about the loss of uh, Mossadegh in, in the 50s. Uh, but they work with the Shah, um, uh, continue all the way through Brezhnev, uh, working with the Shah in, in their sphere of influence. Uh, but uh, uh, Jimmy Carter uh, says, uh, we'll work with the Shah too. And then at the, uh, 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 in the third year of the Carter uh, 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 regime, um, uh, Khomeini uh, takes power and ousts the Shah. Uh, the humanitarian plea of the, from the Shah who's suffering from cancer is uh, that he be allowed to get uh, um, uh, medical care in America. Carter relents. And uh, uh, we, uh, uh, our, our uh, embassy staff is uh, kidnapped and held for over 400 days, uh, which effectively um, uh, 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 neuters uh, Jimmy Carter and his chance of reelection. So we're going to return to the, the Pashtuns again, uh, just to reorient. We know where the Russians are coming from. Um, and we understand Brezhnev was, uh, could shake the Shah's hand, but he could kill uh, a, a communist who, who was uh, not an effective uh, leader. Um, uh, and uh, they were really mad about his assassination of another communist, uh, Taraki, who, who was uh, uh, friendlier with the Russians than, than Amin was. Um, and... Uh, uh, the uh, I'm just going to check on our time. Okay, uh, so uh, they've they've in, uh, incorporated the Altaic cultures into the Soviet uh, system, uh, but now they'd like to uh, uh, also pull in an Indo-European uh, civilization. The the Pashto um, language is uh, Indo-European. Uh, and they're trying to resume the great game, but I just found it interesting that uh, here uh, they're they're not going after another Altea country. They're trying to add uh, an Indo-European civilization into their uh, uh, great victories, um, and so uh, they they are also there's some continuity here. The uh, their push south that began with. Uh, Alexander the First and his uh, uh, great victories that gave them confidence. Here, here is their uh, final uh, attempt to push even further south. Um, and uh, the uh, I'm repeating here uh, through all this together pretty quick. Um, and I don't know how I got that so many repetitions. Um, and uh, just sipping through. It was a uh, uh, returning home. Uh, boy, a lot of repetitions. Sorry, folks. Um, how did that happen? Uh, I will take care of that. Uh, again, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, boy, boy. Um, 
Uh, I didn't have enough time to uh, go through this. All right, so um, he uh, was eventually um, uh, 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 Carmel was eventually thrown out, um, and uh, uh, Najibula was was put in. Uh, you've seen this uh, from from last week. Um, the 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 overreach uh, 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 of uh, uh, the falling uh, agri produce a, a falling agriculture. The the confiscation of the land by the communists during Russian. Uh, uh, occupation that was uh, disorganized. Um, and then uh, finally, uh, Gorbachev uh, gets Carmel to step down and, and says, you know, Naji Bula, uh, you're, you're a Gilzai. And we've seen the Gilzai, who are a very nomadic tribe, produce a string of successful uh, politicians. And, and so he took power in the latter part of the Soviet uh, occupation. Um, and uh, the, oh boy, I've done it again. Sorry. How could this be? I think so. I'm. I'm. I think I'm looping uh, back. So what I'm going to do is uh, clean this up, and uh, I'm going to. We've only got four minutes left, and uh, I'm. I'm uh, going to have to clean this up for uh, not next week because next week we've got a, a babysitting gig again. Um, but uh, I'm going to stop the share, and I'm going to leave uh, the last uh, uh, four minutes for for questions. Uh, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, 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 poor splicing job. Okay. Um I don't have questions about this. If nobody has any questions about this, I have uh, some comments about uh, future lectures. If there are no other questions about the, 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 the Russian background, uh, 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 we'll consider those questions going once, going twice. Yep. No questions, but this is fascinating, even though you're, you're you're uh, apologizing about the repetition of slides. They, these are so fantastic. I'm really excited about them. Thank you for letting me gently off the hook. Have you stopped the uh, share? Um, I, I've stopped the share, but I haven't stopped the, the, the filming. So that's what you want me to do, okay. Um, 